I'm telling you, this movie had everything that was tension and drama. It was riveting. If it didn't win an Academy Award, it should have. What was it about, Daddy? Well, this big scary guy was furious with the other guy. <laughs> so the one guy sneaks up behind the other guy and hits him on the head with a hammer. Boom! <laughs> then the big scary guy turns on him. <laughs> then he comes up behind him real sneaky like with a drill and start drilling him in the head. <laughs> Well, he had to because a few minutes before, Curly came up the moor and almost poked his eyes out. <laughs> and then he made this real creepy, woo, 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 knock, knock, knock sound. Three Stooges, I hate to tell you, but the Three Stooges is a comedy. To some. <laughs> but to me, that Bobby De Niro's got nothing on Larry, Curly, and Mo. The Stooges are two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I need this, slinging hash to a bunch of ungrateful street urchins. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Not that they listen to a word I say. Uh, young man, chew that. You want to choke yourself? No, ma'am. Not that it matters. Not that anyone listens to a word I say. So, Juanita, tell me what's on your mind these days. I got no complaints. <laughs> oh, I forgot. We're doing a play in class. It's called Horton Years Who, and I'm the head who. You see there? I always told you you could be somebody. You could be a, a contender. Yoo-hoo, I'm home. Mommy, you're home. Hi, baby. Oh, how's Mommy's precious angel? It's a bunch of precious angels. We're having a party. <laughs> yes, I can see. <laughs> well, I thought I'd have these children over for dinner at the club, but all we got there is that mini kitchen. I hate mini kitchens. You know my motto. Why fry up a burger when you can fry up a side of beef? That's it. Come on, let's clean up before the boss lady kicks us out. Guess what? Oh, honey, mommy is too tired to play the guess what what that's what game. No, I only got something to tell you. Okay. What? I'm a who. You're a what? No, I'm a who. Oh, honey, mommy's also too tired to play who's on first. Who's aren't on first. They're on second. Right after the elephant. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. Who started this? The who? That's who. But she's the head who. <laughs> Just tell her it's great. Are you going to have this little who going boo who who? Yeah, and you know that's true. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm very proud of you. Thanks, Mom. I got an A in spelling today. And I'm proud of you, too. Well, actually, it was more like an A minus. What was more like an A minus? A B plus? <laughs> Speaking of grades, I heard that one Shasta Roberta Rhodes got an A for a poem that she wrote in Mrs. Kramer's English class. Wouldn't them good grades now. I just hey, that. I just wrote it so I don't have to flunk English and see the heinous vision of her ugly puss every live long day of my ever loving life. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you you've got a way with words? Man, all she do is talk. So if that's a way with words, hey, then she got you. You best stop talking next. So what I say? All I said is you got a way with words? Well, I also got a way with fists, so you better keep your nose out of it. All right, cool it down, cool it down. These puppies to go on home. Please, Everything's okay, it's all right, Juanita. You don't trust me, it's time. For one thing, we're completely out of food. <laughs> okay, please, come on, honey, it's bath time. Juanita, you shouldn't joke around like that. Oh, there's no 
they're welcome here. I mean, they're a pack of teenage mutant eating machines, but they know that in my own way, I do not entirely despise them. I was talking about the food. Don't you ever, ever joke around about being out of food. I was just kidding. Wasn't funny. Oh, I know I forgot something. Mm-hmm. I don't like a big audience. Too bad, good as I am. <laughs> hey, you want to hear that poem that Chester wrote? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's really great. Okay. You sit in there and dissin, and you never stop to listen how your words, they like a knife, a knife that's cutting down my life. Chester wrote that? Yeah, I really think it's great. So I entered it into the citywide poetry contest. I heard about it at school. And the Hungry Ear, they're going to sponsor it. The first prize is $200 worth of books. I think she could win. Whoa, that'd be real good for Chester. Uh-huh. Start her off on the road to success. Yeah. First, she win the grand prize here. Mm -hmm. Then, next thing you know, she'll be reading her stuff at the inauguration. Yeah, it's entirely possible. <laughs> you know, I fought a poet once. Yeah, what are you talking about? Mohammed Ali. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Float like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. Boy, he sure stung me. <laughs> you know, I just made his poem better. <laughs> you know, I may be able to help Shaster out. You know, she's just a beginner, but soon she'll be a winner. Hey, that's catchy. George. No, a winner. George. And next thing you know, George. she can... You did me a favor. Well, it don't feel like no favor from my end. How about I do you a favor, my version? See how you like it. You threatening me now? No, I'm thanking you. I just didn't have enough time to send you the engraved thank you note. Chester, you wrote a poem. I thought it was pretty good. I entered it into a poetry contest. I did not ransack your house and kill your dog. I gave that poem to Miss Kramer, not you. And I want to know what gives a person the right to turn in my personal thoughts to some other person without asking my personal permission in person. Thank you very much. You're absolutely correct. I did not have that right. And I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, too. For what? For, you know, thanking you. <laughs> So you can just tell those contest dweebs I'm out of their game, right? Yes, I could, but maybe you want to think about staying in. Oh, right, like I really need a bunch of snooty bookstore numbheads to laugh at my dumb poem, which ain't even a poem. It's a rap song. First of all, Shasta, your poem is not dumb. And second of all, rap is poetry. It is language, art, music, all compounded into one great big symphony. It's a talent. Yeah, right. Rap is rap. And that's that. You see what I'm saying, Shasta? You really do have a gift for language. Miss <laughs> Kramer's always flapping her trap about that, too. I mean, what's the big idea? Just because I can talk my way out of stuff? Because, Shasta, one day you might be able to write your way out. Toni Morrison, Maya Angelou, Alice Walker, they all did it. You are a good writer. And with a talent like that, girl, one day you could write your own ticket. Get out! I could go to jail for that. <laughs> That was a figure of speech. Metaphor. I was just yanking your chain. Another <laughs> metaphor. <laughs> Maybe I could do this thing. But here's the deal. It's between you and me, so you don't tell Tubby. I mean, you know, this father. <laughs> or the other kids. Comprende? I'd love to say yes to that. There's just one problem. All right, here it is. The TKO Club is reaching out to culture and the community. I have volunteered to have the citywide poetry contest final to take place right here. And we all are going to be very excited to cheer on our very own Shasta Roberta Rhodes reciting her beautiful poem, You Got to Love Me or Leave Me Alone. <laughs> It's a poetry reading, not a prize fight. You don't cheer people on. He's right. You're just supposed to sit there and stroke your chin and say, Oh, boy, that is just so profound, don't you know? <laughs> Tremendously insightful and uh, deeply universal. It makes one pause to ponder. <laughs> you think that's funny? You all think that's funny? Yeah, you got a problem with laughing, senorita oversensitive? <laughs> no, so long as what you're laughing at is actually funny. 
So how am I supposed to know if it's funny or not? If I'm laughing, it's funny. If I'm not laughing and you're laughing, the only thing funny gonna be the way you walk. All right, that's enough. <laughs> now, we're all gonna be here early to fix up this place and make it look real nice. Okay? Good, because I'm gonna be here with bells on. With bells on? Viejo, with bells on what? <laughs> Man, you all so ignorant. Bells on is just an aphorism. It doesn't mean anything. Who are you calling ignorant? I'm calling all y'all ignorant. Yeah. Well, I know what aphorism is, Mrs. Wizzy. It's when you get a blood vessel explodes in your brain. I know because they took my grandma to the hospital for that. I remember that. Man, you don't know nothing. An aphorism is like a cliche or a lame expression that you've heard over a billion times before. An aneurysm is the thing that explodes in your brain, Mr. Wizzy. Yeah. You're getting way too uppity since you got in this stupid poetry contest. Who you trying to be anyway? Ah, uh, Shasta isn't trying to be anything but a big success. And there's nothing wrong with that. Matter of fact, there's everything right with that. It's smart to be smart. Hey, yeah. Well, she doesn't have to be all bragging because she's so smart. Now, what kind of guy would go around bragging about being dumb? I'm the dumbest guy in the room. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm dumb and I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're all gonna be here early on Friday, right? Man, don't worry about putting on those stinking bells, because I ain't coming. Dee's right, it's a stupid contest. Ah, uh, Shasta, honey, don't listen to them. It's not a stupid contest. Look, forget it for once, would you? Yeah, forget it. Hey, wait for me. All right, we still got work to do, and we're still gonna be here early, right? With bells on? Yeah, right, with bells, maracas, accordions, whatever it takes. <laughs> Great decor. So when's the gypsy get here? <laughs> the rug guy down the street donated them. I couldn't hurt his feelings. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to her one more time. Shasta's gotta do that contest. She could win it. And she needs to know what it feels like to be a winner. George, you have tried and I have tried. And if we push her anymore, we're just going to turn her off. Besides, honey, I think it's wrong to force a child to do something no matter how badly you want it for them. I'm not going to force her. Well, good. I'm glad to hear it. I'm going to trick her. <laughs> Check it out. Here comes trouble. Look, I'm not doing this contest. So don't go getting any ideas into that big bowling ball sitting on your neck that you insist on calling ahead. And hello to you, too, Shasta. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, hey. <laughs> I was wondering, though, since you're not going to do this contest, what are you doing here anyway? Well, see, I'm what you call a latchkey child. And as it happens, my own personal latchkey, which, as a latchkey child, I always have with me, seems to have been lost. <laughs> it's an urban tragedy, don't you know? <laughs> Therefore, I could, one, sit at the sandwich shop until my mama shows up, or two, sit here, where the sandwiches are free. <laughs> so, of course, we chose here. Well, I see. Too bad, <laughs> since you are already here and you're not going to be in the contest, because you never know who may be in the audience. Uh, maybe some uh, scouts from the Nobel Prize Committee? <laughs> me to believe that the Nobel Prize Committee sends out scouts. Would you believe Star Search? I hear they're looking for a spokes poet. You're embarrassing yourself. I mean, you couldn't come up with anything better than that. Well, at least I'm trying. That's all I'm asking you to do. Look, I'm not doing it. That thing I wrote isn't even a poem. It's a joke, and that's all I got to say. What do you mean it's not a real poem? That's all I got to say. That's all she got to say. I heard her and I heard you. That girl puts me at my wit's end. I know what you mean. I also know you hate to lose. Oh, I haven't lost. I just haven't won yet. <laughs> I did my hoot show today, and it made everybody laugh. <laughs> Girl, don't you know they were laughing at you? Uh-huh, I liked it. <laughs> you should be in the show. Maybe everybody would laugh at you, too. 
<laughs> That's exactly why I'm not being in the show. You're sad, and I know why. I ain't sad, and you don't know Diddley. It's just like you're horned the elephant, and you hear the who's inside the flower. But no one believes you, and that's why you're sad, and that's why you won't be in the show. Girl, you are too gone to be real. Look, I'm not being in the show because I wrote a rap song that some boring teacher thought was a poem, and it's got absolutely nothing to do with being like no stupid elephant. Got it? Horton knew he was right, too. <laughs> you foster just don't quit, do you? But you know, your mother did say something that was right. She's very smart. I mean, rap is poetry, but it's the kind of poetry that's got to be in its own way. Not pretending to be something else. I still think you're just like Horton. <laughs> Look, if I say I'm like that stupid elephant, will you be happy? Okay, I'm like the elephant. Him and me, we're identical twins. <laughs> yeah, because they're both smart. It's good to be smart. Depends on who you talk to. Now, your daddy says I'm smart. But then, you know, that's why Daniel and them talked all that trash on me. Saying I'm trying to be smart. Like smart must be bad. But that's all whack. Because I'm glad I'm smart. You know, you really got a point. I do? I figured that out? <laughs> no, I did. But you helped. Sort of. You were here. <laughs> Those are very helpful. <laughs> Even if they do dress like crazy people. Come on, we gotta find Vanessa. Hey, can who's rap? Who's can do everything. Word up. My town is called Whoville, for I am a who. And we who's are all thankful and grateful to you. <laughs> and I thought your daddy was bad. <laughs> oh, desk, my desk. Good desk, my desk, oh, desk. If your little wooden drawers were mouths, what stories they would tell, what secrets they must hold, confidential files, mating paper clips, chocolate bars covered in mold. Man, this chick is boring. Old to a desk. I mean, the girl is whacked. She's in love with a piece of furniture, man. <laughs> oh, desk, how I love you. Oh, desk, 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 desk. <laughs> The girl said the word desk 27 times in a row. Now, that's not poetry. Shh. Reminds me of a bad fight. Desk, desk, desk. I wish my name was desk. I wish I was a desk. Oh, desk. Ooh, that's it. I will be right back. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Jessica. Thank you so very much. I am sure that none of us will ever think of our desks in quite the same way again. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess that's going to bring this evening's competition to hold an it, end. Hold it, hold it. We got one more. Come on. Just is going to do it? Uh-huh. I think V talked her into it, but it was really me, because she's got her daddy's positive attitude. Oh. Hurry up. Introduce her before she changes her mind again. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems we have one more entry into this evening's competition. A young poet who I am particularly pleased and proud to introduce to you tonight. Miss Shasta, Roberta, Rhodes, and her posse. Get it. 
books are going to look so nice on my desk. <laughs> no, my bookshelf. I can't wait for the bookshelf for me. <laughs> Shasta, as far as we're concerned, you was robbed. You know it. Those judges were just playing down on that rap. They wouldn't know a poem if it jumped them in the alley and bashed them upside the head with a tire iron. <laughs> I thought you thought poetry was stupid. Yeah, well, we did. But now we think those judges were stupid. You got this. You should have won, Shasta. Thanks, Paquito, Taquito. <laughs> you people don't know anything about Spanish. Man, she just called me a little small taco. <laughs> yeah, and? All right. <laughs> now, let's go on back to the house and celebrate. Juanita's going to have Make Your Own Sunday. Forget all that Make Your Own hoo I'm getting a big guy to make mine. He knows his Sundays. Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> Shasta, honey, I just want you to know that your words were jamming. I could not be prouder of you. And I want you to remember how special your poem is, and I will always think of you as tonight's big winner. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you were a star, just like me. We were stars together. Girl, get right. Ain't like we're gonna do Vegas or nothing. <laughs> hey. I've seen worse. Yeah, well, ditto went off. You know, you was robbed. Yeah. I mean, for them to say it was poetry, good poetry, before they knew it was a song, and then to say it wasn't poetry after they knew it was a song, just totally flipped. I mean, poetry is rap, and rap is poetry. And you? You're a poet. I am a poet, and I do know it. Now, don't go hugging me. I done had all the bodily contact I can take from you people today. I wasn't gonna hug you. Why not? I'm not good enough? <laughs> yeah, my girl. Oh, cut it out. I got a rap for you. Here, come on, come on. Give me a beat, give me a beat. Mary Dolch and Doji Dolch and Little Lambsy Divey, a killdy Divey too, wouldn't you? Words. Oh. Come on, girl. Oh, man, that ain't no rap. Hey, it could be. Rap's the kind of art you can make out of anything. You could even wrap the ingredients to ice cream. Give it up. This could be poetry. <laughs> Milk, cream, double tassium, phosphate, mono and diglycerides, calcium and carbonate. Cellulose gum, sodium calcinate, artificial flavor, and protein concentrate, calcium, niacin, thymine, and rubble flavor, rubble flavor, rubble flavor. Why? <laughs> Boy, that, that's so inspiring. I never know that poetry could be so tasty. <laughs> I love poetry with chocolate. And everybody knows that I can eat a lot. And every time I eat a lot, I always end up with a pot. Belly. <laughs> hey, I can rap. Chocolate Lord. is what you put in your mouth. Ha, ha, ha.